What is up, XFM? Today, we're gonna talk about something that is very important to me, and uh, it's something that I kind of touched upon a couple of times here in the channel, but I want to, I guess, prove that uh, this is correct. Basically, what I want to talk about is farming is not the only way you can breed axes. I know everyone wants to sell you their method of ABCD farm or ABC farm, or they want to sell you like what is the best type of axe to start your own farm. And uh, full disclaimer here, if you have 10k USD, 20k USD, you're buying, I don't know, a shit ton of parents, you actually have a lot of money on the side, already uh, like ready to buy AX as an SLP, and you don't need to like sell your axes to buy stuff to then send it back and lose 50% of your profits just by converting your currency, maybe it could still be profitable to, uh, to make farms. I feel like most people are not in that uh, case though. I think a lot of people here have like 3K USD, 5K USD, 7K. And if you're actually one of these people, I think there's way better ways and safer ways to make money. This is how I feel. I feel like there is like with X Infinity, especially because there's still like a huge number of new players and new breeders every single day, people have no idea how to price their axes. So basically they breed some stuff and they don't know if they should sell it for 0.3 Ethereum or 0.1. A lot of people just freak out and they make like bad auctions and, and, and they end up selling their axes at a cheap price without even knowing they're doing that. And um, what this allows you to do is actually find really good axes for a cheap price if you know how to look. And there's tons of ways you can manually do that. There's websites that do that. You can use my bot to do that. This is not an ad. I'm just uh, trying to tell you here that uh, there's a lot of different options in the market. So the first thing you need to do to actually make money breeding without having a farm is deciding what you want to breed. You can just go to Elijah, Indus, find whatever it is that these YouTubers are recommending because chances are a lot of people watching those videos that don't really know. I'm not saying that their recommendations are bad. I'm just saying that like when you have a spotlight in yourself, uh, it's just going to be easier to promote or sell an Axie. And I'm not saying they're selling the Axies they're promoting. I'm just saying that uh, a lot of people are going Going to be aware of their existence. Um, and one of the people that use our bot actually decided to breed this bad boy here. He is such, such a beauty, right? You have Thorny, Cuckoo, Tiny Turtle, Croc. So yeah, this is a really good Axie that I think a YouTuber recommended. I don't remember who it was. Basically, what he tried to do is recreate this Axie by finding two parents that are relatively cheap. The reason I think this is a really good way of breeding, I already talked about it in, la uh, in later videos, is that you will buy cheap Axies and you can probably sell them and you're not gonna lose that much money from the price you bought them up to the point you bred them and you want to give them away. In this example, this is actually the one of the axes that he bred. He sold this one for 0.4 Ethereum, right? But if we look at the parents here, he actually bought this axie for 0.09 and he sold it for 0.1 Ethereum. So he actually made money selling this guy. And uh, as you can see, he has all of those skills, but the thorny caterpillar so let's let's take a look here on the uh, on the jeans so it's not great cuckoo it's not great croc but he had a dream and he he thought this was possible so this is the cheap one and and this is like actually so good because it also has um aqua parts which means that whatever the dusk or reptile you get is going to be super fast which is always advisable now the other parent this one is more expensive because it's a dusk uh it actually has all of those skills but the mouth so this is literally what i taught in in a lot of different videos like you get four of the skills that you want you look at all of the different uh combinations of those skills and you look for them in the market if you do have a way to filter for dr1 it's going to be faster like using our bot but you can manually do this it just takes uh it can take a lot of time if there's a lot of those axes uh when when you search for the queue so this one he paid 0 0.25 he's still trying to no he actually paid 0 0.22 two and he's still trying to sell it um but this is how the jeans look like kind of bad croc kind of bad cuckoo uh not the greatest greatest tiny turtle there honestly so i think this was this was definitely a bet that he took all right uh it does have perfect tourney though which is a very important 
aspect of the other Axie that he didn't have. And now, to be honestly, like, I want to go full disclosure here. I'm going to show you guys my chat with this guy, uh, just so you know it's legit. So, so he was, like, asking a lot of questions about uh, the gains that our bot was projecting. He, he literally just added the two axes uh, in our calculator. He tried to, he was like kind of scared because <laughs> this is how it looked like. So he had a 19% chance of getting Tiny Turtle, Cuckoo, Croc, Torny, which is insane. This is really high. Uh, I'm surprised, honestly, because if we go back here, he only bred his axes five times. Maybe he didn't have the funds. If I was doing this, I would definitely breed it seven times because uh, the, the gains here are really high. Uh, but regardless, he did it five times because I think, yeah, that's pretty much highest profit but just because you're not sure you're gonna get all of these axes i still feel like i would go seven times just to make sure uh you know the the variation isn't gonna screw me up so like we talk a little bit about everything and then like out of nowhere he's like dude i got two of the beefinators he actually got three <laughs> he didn't even realize that so he sent me the print and i think a lot of people can do this it's actually like a better way to breed yeah sure you can always get screwed with chance because at the end of the day it is a gamble that you're taking but you can like pretty much calculate everything and provided there's liquidity on the axi or people know that this axi is good uh, i always feel like this is gonna be uh, a sure way to make money so anyways he didn't sell i'm gonna show all of the calculations of how much money he made but uh, this is one of the children. This is the most expensive one. 50 speed. We have actually pretty good genes, right? You have perfect thorny. You have tiny turtle on, on both of them. Cuckoo and croc, unfortunately, didn't grow up there. But this is, this is like, this is a really good freaking axi. So yeah, this is another child that he didn't sell this one has ronin so this 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 isn't really great he's probably not gonna sell this for uh 0.21 but I'm pretty sure he can sell it for 0.15 the genes are meh this one is also that one but it has a little bit less speed it's 45 speed and it was already bought and bred so people people understand that there's a lot of potential with this dusk and i'm surprised i'm not sure how how the funds for this guy were going uh and and i know that in the beginning of the video i said that going for a farm is not a good idea but i think if you get an axi like this that you know is like super super expensive i think i would have tried to bred it a little bit more uh he didn't really go for it but uh at least like that 0 0.4 one that had 50 speed i think that one had a lot of potential and he could have probably found a cheap axi and and, and breed it again but it's okay you know uh, i think he already got his gains and uh it, it's always better to be safe than sorry you don't know when the pet's gonna drop uh so yeah this one he sold for 0 0.25 which is still like insane amounts of money considering how much he paid for each one he the, he also sold this one for 0 0.25 uh which by the way is also got bred so it, it's just to show that <laughs> people really understand and value this axi uh and this is probably the main part all right before even going uh, and trying to find valuable axes, you need to understand that what you're breeding is good. If it is actually good, people will buy it. Uh, it might be a little niche, you know, if you're breeding bugs, that could be a little, it could take a little bit more time. But this guy, he knew what he was doing, and this is a lot of money. Let's talk about the downside of breeding like this, because, you know, there's always a downside. I guess like the biggest downside that you have is you're gonna buy these two parents and you're gonna breed them. Most of the time, you're just gonna sell everything at the end. Uh, and if you don't have a lot of funds, you have to kind of wait everything to sell unless you actually made a lot of money to be able to restart your operation because your assets are gonna be kind of locked into those axes that might be um, hard to sell. If you, I mean, if you choose everything correctly, like this guy, sent me this 12 hours ago and he pretty much already sold everything so in that case since he did everything so well that is not a problem but if you don't really choose properly or if you get unlucky you can you can lose more money than a farm i guess because like in a farm things are gonna be more streamlined they're gonna be more homogenous but you do get like very slim profit margin but on the other side what i really like about this is that since you're not committing for like having 30 axes in a farm, 50 axes in a farm, you protect your money a little bit more as well because if for some reason a patch drops tomorrow and a key skill of your farm gets ultra nerfed, like how much money can you lose, right? If you have like 50 axes, 100 axes all bound to being an axie and not being actual cash uh, or Ethereum, crypto, whatever you want to call it, you can lose a lot of money. 
And since we are in this downtime, I think this is definitely like a much, much, much safer way. Obviously, more time consuming way. So if you just have a lot of money, you don't, you don't care. Like you're probably not even watching this video, right? Because I think you probably already paid for someone to advise you on how to breed and do all sorts of stuff. Probably have it all automized anyways. But if your budget is, you know, below 10K USD, even if you have more money, I think you can still like, I don't know, do three of these endeavors all at once. You just find three types of X's you wanna breed and you still do it. And sure, you're gonna maybe spend three hours looking for all those X's and breeding them one time. But after that, it's five days of doing nothing. So I still feel like it's not that much time consumed if you know your way around the X's space. And yeah, I hope this didn't really look like an ad for my bot because thing that I think makes the most amount of money kinda needs not necessarily my bot, but tools that can filter R1, R2, tools where you can quickly calculate how much money two axes are gonna make, whether they uh, they breed or not. And now we actually have to talk about the actual mathematics of this because uh, I wanna compare what my bot predicted uh, in that conversation versus what he actually got from uh, from everything. This is actually, okay, so he paid 0 0.228 on the parents. He actually made money with this, right? He bought it for, uh, for like sake of making everything easier to calculate. I'm considering Ethereum being 3K USD. I know it's a little lower. He made 0 0.01, which is 30 USD. So this is plus 30. He bought this guy for 0 0.09, sold it for 0 0.1. Then here on the parent side, he bought this for 0, uh, 228 and I'm considering he sold this guy for the cheapest price because like right now he has it for 0 0.25 I think this is way too much he can probably sell it for 0 0.15 but I'm gonna go really low just to like make sure uh, I'm not like giving him any chances here we're going for the worst case scenario uh, in this case he would lose 0 0.128 Ethereum which is about uh, 384 dollars uh, which means that here he lost 354 USD. Then for breeding, uh, he actually bred when uh, I'm considering the, the values of AXS and SLP when he did that. So it was 66 USD for AXS and 0 0.073 for SLP, which means he spent 1000 USD uh, with this. Now, he sold one of the children for 0 0.4, he sold two of them for 0 0.25, and uh, the other two children are still in auction, but I'm going for the lowest value he, he put there, which means this everything here is 1.23 Ethereum, I'm sorry, 1.2 Ethereum, which is 3.6k USD. So his total profits are going to be this, minus this, minus this, and uh, so there you go. He made 2,200 and $38. This is insane, right? He made this amount of money and the amount of money that he actually had to put in was a thousand dollars from uh from the axs and slp plus the the money from the parents minus what he sold them for so technically he needed yeah like the amount of money he actually spent was this so if we calculate the profits for that this is gonna be so he got 164 percent profits and honestly i think he he even jumped the gun a little bit because i feel like the price that he sold these two guys for 0 0.25, I think they sold way too fast. And uh, even the other one, like he actually sold almost instantly. So I think he priced them very cheaply. And even still, that is the amount of money that was predicted by the bot. If you go here, he the bot actually said, if you breed five times, you're gonna get 167% profit. And he got 164. So like this is insanely precise. And uh, I think he could have gotten more if he was a little bit more patient. But, you know, time is money. And sometimes selling fast could mean you just do it again. And uh, over, you know, a period of 10 breeds, you're definitely going to make more money by having your money back to you faster. I mean, I think this is it, guys. I just wanted to let you know that this is obviously more time consuming if you're doing this by yourself. But I think this is way less risky. You know, you're not going to be affected by patch notes that much because as long as you don't get a patch like literally before in between you buy the axes and you sell them uh you know you're gonna be breeding something else uh afterwards and you're gonna dilute your risk 
and you can just go for these amazing profits when you find an axe that looks exactly like like something that you want uh so yeah hope you guys got value out of this yeah if you want to know more about the bot you can check the link in the description and i'm sure you're gonna have a, a lot of fun there also if you're a small or medium breeder that loses a lot of money by sending money to metamask after you bred to convert ether to axs and slp maybe you should check our own private exchange we only charge a fixed fee of $20 and we have a small spread that is pretty much almost always better than MetaMask. So if that's a problem you face, also check the link in the description and find out how to use our exchange. Thank you very much. Have a good one and bye.